onto one of those bombs. Yeah, but he's got to do something when he gets inside. What he does is tie him up, and the other guy punches him with one hand. Well, that, as long as he's got a free hand, is working. Boy, he just doesn't let any moment go by without punching. At least he'll, he's punching with his side. He'll be punching the whole time he's tied up. The tape doesn't seem to be bothering Virgil McClendon. Oh, nice straight right hand. Nice straight right hand. By the that is his uh, power punch, the right. Comes off the easy win for the title over Cool Vince Phillips. Would really love to avenge his 95 first round loss to Sean Bay Mitchell, which he took on short notice. That would be a great fight, Steve. A slapping right hand there by Teron Molette. Not that effective. You could see him loading that right hand up, though. I mean, for, for about 30 seconds before that, he loaded up that right hand. He slapped it, but boy, he was looking for it. Right now, he's landing some shots on the sides of the head and the temple area of McClendon. Those shots eventually add up, too. They hurt. No holding. No holding. And now McClendon holding on, trying uppercuts, but they're not landing. Step back. Step back. This is not. We approach the final 30 seconds of round two. All action. Oh, what a right hand by Virgil McClendon. Big right hook. He got his attention. That was the best shot of the round. Not enough to win a round for him. Boy, was that a good shot. Here's another crushing right hand by McClendon. He's landing, and he's got Millette's attention. He's got Millette in a little bit of trouble right now, I think. Yes, he has. He's stunned with the final 10 seconds of the round. And McClendon not letting up, applying the pressure. He's got Millette wobble. He has that. He won that round. Big Good. finish. Big, 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 big finish. Good. Good action. Boy, well, had that happened in the middle of the round instead of at the end of the round. Whoa. Early on, the power shots were being landed by Millet, especially that right hand. He used that little jab as a feeler, fired a straight hand right down the middle. A beautiful punch as he pulls out and gets away from the counter by McClendon, but McClendon comes back, ended around with the right uppercut and then a big right hook on the rope. Oh. Lands a very, very clean right hook, followed up by another right hook and yet another one. He got the champion in a little bit of trouble. Well, that's one of those things where you got the whole round going your way and then you almost get knocked out at the end. Right? Can we be on the threshold of our fourth consecutive shutout on Showtime? Uh, or uh, upset on Showtime? Well, I don't know. It's too early to tell. It's too early to tell because he looks like he's recovered. There yeah, looks like he's recovered. And he's using a good jab. He's offsetting that right hook with a straight jab. Just a nice, simple straight jab down the pipe. Well, to make McLennan change his strategy a little. All Virgil knows is he can do it. That he can get this guy in trouble. He's got new confidence now. Hey, I can get this guy. McLennan's power has improved in the second half of his career. And uh, you got a pretty good illustration of it at the end of the last round. Round at number three. Straight left hand right on the neck by the challenger, McClendon. A nice counter right again. The jab right now is being effective. Also effective for the champion, Millet. He is controlling this round so far with the jab. Even though he's falling back, he's controlling, he's out punching, and he's out jabbing. Well, that much more reserved. He's, he's taking a little bit of a step back here, trying to be more cautious, set something up. Well, I think he understood, hey, this guy can punch. Forget about it. Not being reckless, trying to go to the body there, but a nice block by the gloves of McClendon. McClendon's very fast. And that left hook by McClendon was dashed by Millet. Good defense there. Yeah, and he can't. He, not only did he block it, but he put in two punches afterwards. He's not punching uh, McClendon, no question about it. Somebody lost the mouthpiece. It looks like the challenger, McClendon. McClendon on the right of the street now. Right on on Referee stepped right on the mouthpiece. It's a good right hand of the jaw by Millet. I'm not sure if Richard Steele is aware that the mouthpiece is gone because at the first break of the action, and there hasn't no been that, they replace it. Let him go. 
That's Come on, the rule. Get out. And I don't think he's aware that the mouthpiece is on the canvas. No, he stepped on it a moment ago. He, he has, has not seen the mouthpiece. Oh, he he stepped on it again. So that, that caught his attention. So he sees it. Now. Whose mouthpiece is it? Oh, he there. asked whose mouthpiece it was, and it was uh, McClendon. He didn't on, even see it, Steve. No, I think the second time he stepped on it, he realized. he realized he stepped on something. He looked down at it. Yeah. Yeah, the first time it was a full step. Maybe, maybe at first he thought it was one of McClendon's shoes he stepped on. Or the sole. Someone said he's got a full oh, nice. left hand. Nice. Out of nowhere by McClendon. Right down the middle. I don't think that Millet ever saw it. Blake staggered him. It staggered him. I think he's got his feet back under him now, but I'll tell you, that really startled him. But Millette showing resiliency. Wow. Right hook by Millette to the, to the temple. Now a right uppercut by Millette to the side of McClendon's head. McClendon answers with uppercuts. McClendon fighting hard to get out of that jam he just got into, but he did get into a jam. Oh, what ebb and flow, back and forth action. Time. And the bell ending round three. Wow, what a nice little fight. Come on. If we go on to your right, step to your right, you gotta go to your left. If you have to go to the right, make sure you're out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Then you come back to the left. Come on, keep the jab in the face. Suck up and relax. You're in shape, so you're in trouble like that. I know, I'm cool. Clinton is turning out to have a little more of a reputation. There's that straight left hand as a puncher than we thought. All of a sudden, he's popping the champion and rocking his world. He, he lost most of that round, and he threw a great straight left hand there. He's trying to work his way on the inside. There's the uppercut again on the inside. That was a beautiful left hand. Here's another look at some of the inside work, and another left hand. He's getting some punches to Millet that no one thought he had the ability to throw. But Millet is fighting back, and this the ebb and flow here is truly, truly equal just about, except shaded to the champion right now. The last 30 seconds, very costly for the champion. The last two rounds. Virgil McClendon, keep in mind, this is his first shot at any kind of a title. He's never fought anybody as a top 10 contender, and he hasn't fought in about 14 months. Well, he's certainly not fighting like he has any ring rust, I'll tell you that. He looks fresh. Karimalek's first title defense, but only his second world title fight. They just butted heads, no cuts, but they did butt heads. Well, I'll tell you what, prior to the fight, we know Millet thought this was going to be a short night. I think his uh, ideas about that might have changed. Well, it might be a short night, but he might be on the uh, <laughs> losing end. Millet 21-1-1 with 16 knockouts. McClendon 21-1 with only 8 KOs. Oh, uh, a short, crisp right cross there by Millet. And a beautiful left uppercut. That left uppercut really shook McClendon. Well, there's no shortage of aggression on the part of the champion. Millet, he's there all the time, and he right. is aggressive. And he's got quite a bounce uh, beginning under his left eye. Millet, right of your screen. Yeah, they've been working on it in the corner. They have that end swell on there. They've been working, but it's swelling. Good face work there, a combination to the face by Millet. Millet really coming on here in round four. That jab has been so effective from the past two rounds. I thought it won him, clearly set up and won that last round for him. Over Ooh. again, keeping McClendon at bay, and then firing that right hand. McClendon. Allows himself to be open at times, and Millet capitalizes. Virgil's looking for that one shot. He got spoiled by that one shot that got him in trouble. He's one shot, and the other guy's just peppering him. McClendon cages Millet into the corner. Step back, step back. But it doesn't do much for him. Good round for Millet, the champion. Break. Step back. Mm. Beautiful right uppercut again by the champion. He turns that right hand in. And again, he no does it from in. some very awkward angles sometimes. Down by his side, out by his shoulder. And it's up in the orthodox position. He doesn't care. And it's very effective, Bob. He turns the guy around. It just actually turns him around when he gets hit. Man, this guy is good. Actually, they're both good because Break. Challenger is putting in one great effort here. Very evenly matched championship bout. Oh, nice uppercut. McClendon coming on now, once again towards the end of the round. No, hold it, come on, punch to get out of there. Let's see if he can finish with a flurry again. He seems to sense it. 
Sugar Ray Leonard used to steal rounds that way beautifully. Keep the inside there, though, you'll see more work by the champion, less work by the challenger. Gives the round away. Gives it away. Put your body more. Okay. Get them hands up high when you're in the clinch. Oops. There you go. Stand right now. There it is, baby. There it is. What are they using? A soup spoon? Look, look at this. Look at this end swell as they got. These front rooms, sir. Look at that. I thought I had that in my tomato soup. Hopefully not the same one. You're hurting them to the back. Look at the guys. He's got an admiral cap on. Boy, this has got rank in the corner. You know who the captain of that ship is. Hey, you got to go to right hook. You better be out of the way. Where it is, they have retrieved a backup pair of shoes. Let's see if they actually have. He's going to tape that one and put the good friction tape on top of it. Or they're going to tape the other one. Well, at least they'll have a matching set. Okay. So I'm not sure.